Hi everyone. Welcome back to If My Heart Are Wings, Amane's Route, episode 10. So, we had some big revelations again in episode 9, with Toriyuka Sensei re revealing why he's been upset with the Soaring Club and Amane for the entire time. So, he feels that Amane is giving people bad influences, despite being this genius intellect person, and he blames Amane for causing Iska to be injured from flying the glider, and it's like, well, Amane was never intended to be a student of Keifu Academy. And the fact that she decided to dedicate her time to the glider, instead of to something that's more productive, something that's going to provide a bigger impact to the school and maybe the world and when he tried to destroy the winch that is used to launch the glider he was caught and that's why he had to reveal the whole story to Amane. So now Amane got the letter from Iska via Tobioka and I think it's pr pretty shocking to the point where Amane is not wanting to leave her bedroom. So let's see how it goes from here and how they're going to resolve this situation. So, with troubling hands. So it was a final message to Amane from a friend that she thought hadn't left anything behind. Victoria and I were watching her closely. So Maya's eyes opened wide in shock as she poured over the contents of the letter. An instant later, the light in her eyes vanished. So that sparkling light that had always filled Amane's eyes like a little child's suddenly vanished. So what happened? And Amane would not answer. So without answering, she aimlessly starts walking. And just like that, she goes on up the stairs. Wait, Amane? And then she shuts herself up in her room. So, in the middle of the rain, Ageha and all of these Soaring Club members gather together. So that, that's what happened. I told Ageha, Asa, and the others about how Toyoka came this morning and gave Amane a letter. So, what did it say? Well, I don't know. Toyoka said he hadn't read it either. So I remember seeing Amane's profile while she was reading the letter. And in an instant, the sparkle in her eyes went out just like a light bulb. Well, probably. So everyone falls silent. Everyone thought Asa is right. Or at least wanted to or wanted her to be right. But from what I could tell from Amane's reaction, it didn't seem like it. So what did it say? Aika gently strokes Katori's head. Katori was so worried about Amane that she looked as if she were about to cry. So we'll have to wait for her response. So 
今日は夕方頃まで雨だって言ってましたね。Well, Katori? 今日はお休みにしましょう。雨が止んで、アマネちゃんが復活したらテストを再開するからね。So, nobody objects to the club's leader's plan. Okay, so we'll end for today. So, after the group dismissed, Katori and I were getting ready to make dinner. So, it was still pretty early. Wise, but we didn't know what else to do, so we just got started. Okay. So, fortunately, tonight we're having stew, and the earlier we make it, the better it'll taste. Okay. Hi, Hato. Oyachi, yo. So, Katori lead or feeds some vegetables scraps to Hat. And as she watches him devour his. Treat, she mutters. Iskawa, so, does the hat to Kokonyo de Tandaro? Hmm, so now looking at Hat, I wonder why Iska left Hat here. I wonder. She said her parents were strict, so maybe they would not let her keep him? Hmm. So looking at the duck wearing a hat, Katori went deep into thought. So I gaze out the wind's dough as I stir the pot. Hmm, miserable rain. So it started raining before dawn and was still coming down even now. And even though they said it was supposed to stop in the evening. I wonder. Well, she probably just forgot about it. So, don't you think? So, it was in a secret hiding place where she left the flying fish manor. Well, maybe not. But then why did she leave without it? Oh, yeah, that's right. So, when I became the dorm mother, they gave me a list of things to watch out for, and that was on there. So, it's probably because of what Iska did. Yeah. <laughs> so Katori went deep into thought again. Maybe so. So Katori starts to scan all around her. So I guess she's trying to look for some of those traces. Well, don't worry about it now. So just get to work. So I think they're looking for marks of like pie crust, pie filling. Hi. Or maybe some more treasures that Iska hit left behind. So looking unsatisfied, Katori went back to cutting vegetables. So the sounds of the hot pot boiling, the vegetables being Chopped and the wind and rain rang out. And I'm starting to get worried about the glider. So it's been sitting on the runway since yesterday, uncovered. And there was a thing with Tobioka, so we were not able to take it apart. Well, I mean, I carefully covered it up. Okay, so he covered it up again. And I wonder if it's been blown away. Actually, I want to gather it all into the garage by the end of the day, but Anchan hasn't been around since this morning. So we didn't have any way to carry it by ourselves with all the rain, 
so it's just sitting out there. And it should be fine in a little bit of rain. So I guess I'll just go take a look at it a little while. So once dinner is ready. So after we finished getting dinner ready, I left the, the dining hall and saw someone leaving through the entrance. So I'm guessing this person has to be Amane. Oh, so Kanako? So with that on my mind, I went to check on Amane when Kanako came down the stairs from the second floor. Huh? Wait, Kanako? So then who was... So Kanako is still here. So what is it? What? So Kanako pulled up a scrap of paper. And it was folded up loose leaf notebook. I take it and open it. Hmm. So it was Iska's letter. I read the contents of the letter and understood. So what did it say? I understood the reason why the light or the light like a starry sky vanished from Amane's eyes in an instant. So Katori brought Hat out of the dining hall with her. I gave the letter to Katori with a trembling hands. So what does it say? Oh, so this is Iska's letter. So seeing my pale face, Katori braces herself, and then she skims over the contents of the letter. So she is shocked. So Amani just left her room a minute ago. I'm going to go look for her. Well, I'll do it too. So you stay here and watch the phone. So there might be a phone call. So tell Asa and the others about this in Agiha too. So could you get them to help out, help look? Okay. So once I had told Katori what to do, I, I rushed outside. Amane. Okay, so now we get to see what the letter is and why it's so shocking to everyone. Boku あれは嘘なんだ。僕は本当は信じていなかった。モーニンググローリーが来るなんて。20年以上怒ってなかった現象が僕がいる今この時に怒ってくれるなんて。そんな都合のいいことないって思ってた。姉はよく言ってたよね
あまねの人生を狂わせてる辛くて苦しくて少しでも何か形にしたくてグライダーで飛ぼうとしたけどダメだった僕の翼は偽物だから飛べるはずなんてなかった僕は卑怯者の嘘つきだ恥ずかしい消えてしまいたい僕の最後のお願いを聞いてくれるかい僕のこと忘れてくださいそれで君は本来君のいるべき場所へ行ってくださいごめんねあまねそれはイスカが来て、彼女は彼女の負担を持っているので、彼女は彼女の負担を持っているので、彼女は彼女の負担を持っているので、彼女は彼女の負担を持っているので、彼女は彼女の負担を持っているので、彼女は彼女の負担を持っているので、There had to be some kind of reason. But I wonder if Amani was interested in college originally, or she didn't really want to do it, but she was forced to because of pressure around her. So, some unavoidable circumstance. And if not, I cannot believe that Iska would run off somewhere without me. But. <laughs> So the heavy falling rain beats against my body, against this hopeless, stupid me. <laughs> so, surely there must have been some kind of truth lurking there. That everyone would be rewarded for all the things lonely day spent in the garage. And somewhere it had been expecting that, or I had been expecting that. Well, I'm just a fool. The glider was left on the runway with the sheet covering it exposed to the rain and the silhouette of the forward swept wing and a fragment of the dream that Iska and I had dreamed of. And I was the only one who'd felt that way. So suddenly I lost all the strength in my body, and before I knew it, I had fallen to my knees. So I splashed loudly in the water puddles. So I tied everyone down. And this isn't a dream at all. It's a curse. So, with my powerless hands, I look at the sheet of glider. And what appeared below was a dull cover, color ring reflecting the dull rain clouds. <laughs> so, I took aim at the wings. So, I think a mine is going to destroy it. It's like, well, this has been a curse, it's caused so much trouble. And the only way to break this curse is to destroy this glider. Oh, so for Aoi, he's looking after Amane and he gets a call from Ageha. Aoi? It's o k a door. Oh, so he calls Ageha. No, um, she's not at school. So, not at school. So she didn't go home. She must have gone somewhere. Alright, so I'm counting on you. So help me look for Amane. So we split up to look for Amane and we're running around in the rain. So she was not in the garage. And I'm getting impatient. Just trying to imagine Amane's state of mind right now makes me feel stabbing. Pain. So the letter upset everything she knew, everything she believed. So everything she held dear 
too. So pretty much everything. So pretty much her whole life. So for Iska herself to deny her own promise. So after Iska left, there was the only thing Amani relied on, and that's how she made it this far. And no matter what happens, the one thing she had tried to believe was that she didn't want to lose Iska. So last summer she aimed for the morning glory and failed, so she gave up on her dream once. But with all of us, she wanted to aim for it again. And after all that... So wait, why? No. The letter that I had thought would save Amane betrayed and knocked her down. So I ran. And I didn't care if I splashed in the puddles or got rained on. So did she find Amane? And before I knew it, the rain had stopped. I ran through the bushes, hurrying towards the runway. And he finds Amane. Amane! So I shout at the top of my lungs as I ran down the runway. The so mud splashes up my feet. Huh? Wait, what's going on? So I could see the white aircraft in the distance. And the sheet that I had covered the glider with had been taken off. So wait, uh, uh, wait, uh, Amane! And she's there. So it worked. It looked like she was clinging to a wing that was laying on the ground. Wait, Amane! <coughs> so when I spoke to her, Amane suddenly lifted her hands in the air, and then she hit the wing with a rock. Wait, Amane, what are you doing? So I grab Amane from behind and try to pull her away from the glider. Just calm down, Amane. So I held her tight while she kicks and struggles. So Amane, just calm down. So Amane's hands went limp. At the same time, the rock she was holding falls to the ground. And I kept on holding her tightly and stroke her back, trying to calm her down. So, Amani. <laughs> so, Aya comes running towards us from far away. And behind her is Asa and Yoru. And then there's Katori, and for some reason, Anchan's here too. So seeing Amane wrapped up in my arms, Katori anxiously says, So finding the area where Amane has been hitting the wing, Amane runs up to us, or Agha runs up to us. And there were countless scratches from the rock hitting it. Amai did it. <laughs> so I let go of Amane. And somehow she manages to stand up on her own. So um, we read it. So we did read that letter. And I don't know what to say. No, that's not true. Amane shook her head weakly. I 
ミタジのことまでくるませてしまうだからこんな翼はもう持ってしまった方がいいんだ So Mane attempts to pick up the rock again. No, please, just stop it, Mane. So I grab her arm to stop her. Well, it's not a lie. And no matter what Iska thinks, it was real, dream for us. So everyone stares at Amane and nods. It's、so、like, yeah. And the feelings are sincere. But Amane's eyes are blank. And the words don't reach Amane's closed off heart. And the emotional trauma that Amane felt is much, much deeper. <laughs> Well, I won't. So Amane grabs my arm tightly, looking up and pleading with me. So please let me destroy the glider. Well, if I didn't let go, I could have a normal heart. So I could sense an urgent plea from within the blank eyes. So Amane was about to be crushed by her extraordinary grief. So, what should I? Well, how can I? So, is holding her the only thing I can do? And is that all the lover are good for in the end? No, Amane. Okay, let's have a talk, says Anchan. So. I think he's going to try to comfort Amane from here. So, Anchan had been watching silently, but now he spoke up. So, Amane stops trying to get loose from me and turns her gaze towards Anchan. So, Anchan nods his head. この間朝ちゃんと夜ちゃんが教えてくれたよなイスカがどこかの療養所にいるって、うん、行ってきたんだその療養所へ Wait what? So everyone was surprised except for Katori She nods slightly 五十嵐さんはそのことを教えに飛び王荘に来てくれたの And then he heard about Iska's letter and brought Katori here. Hmm. Misagi Kia was Jimoto no Meiji da ro. Dakara, Liu Yo Shitsmo, Chikaku ni Arunja Naika te Kangaita da. Sore de Sore la si basho, Shiramitsubushi ni Atate mita. So he found the place. Anchan's expression neither confirms nor denies the question. Iska ga ita noa, Liu Yo Shitsu te ite mo, Omoto Muki wa Misagi Kia no Besso da ta. Sanchan shakes his head. Wait, no way. So she's already dead? So I wasn't the only one who had such a bad feeling. So everyone else looked uneasy, but Anchan had a gentle smile on his lips. So, where is she? Kore kara sanga so to omote to koroda. So no mani, Amane ni hokoku shito kitakte na. Iska wa chanto buji da tate. Ariato tatsia. Demo mo. Tegami. Wari ga ore mo yomase de morata. Shoku da to omae no kimoji. Yoku wakare tsumori da ga. そうか
イスカは元気になったのか So my looks relieved, but somehow she also looked lonely. Taiga Kustato, Iska no Taicho, a Kashi, Choki Ryo, Yogina Kusaretarashi. Oyatomo Umaku Itenakata Yode, Taicho Furio, Ryuni, Bessoni, Oshikomerate, Potondo Nankin Jota Yoda. Nankin? So the Misagi family is quite prominent in their area. No, so Tobiaka sensei thinks the house arrest might have had something to do with worrying about the family's reputation. So she was finally released six months ago. So she was finally released six months ago. So she was finally released six months ago. Um, so what do you mean by this? It was a familiar picture of clouds. It was a picture looking up at the road of clouds crossing the sky. Right, so that was one year ago we flew in those clouds. So it looks like a morning glory, but it's not. <gasps> And Amani found something in the clouds. Oh, so I noticed after her. So, beneath the glowing orange clouds, there was a small bird like shadow. So, this is probably the glider that I, Oi, and Amani were in. Yep, our glider. Misagi Ken of Bessoa, Mizumi no Sobaniata. Coco Carada to Chodo Hantai Gaude, Daibu Toyinaga. Kyonen no Natsu, Fushigina Kumo Mita Iskawa, Otesdai no Hito to Mizumi Madeki. そしてそこで雲の回廊を目指すグライダーを見つけたそうだ。So Maya was gazing at the scene in the picture, and in the same way, the rest of us were also staring at the familiar scene. So at the sky we flew in one year ago. 見てたんだ、イスカも。So Iska saw. 私たちが見てたように。So, if this picture was the reason she left that house, then that means. So, if this picture was the reason she left that house, then that means. So, if this picture was the reason she left that house, then that means. So, if this picture was the reason she left that house, then that means. So, if this picture was the reason she left that house, then that means. So, if this picture was the reason she left that house, then that means. So, if this picture was the ようやくそこを出られたのが半年前というわけだ不思議な偶然があるものね本当に偶然かしらえ姉さんも同じようにあの雲と出会いそしてグライダーを見つけた We know that kind of influenced us too and it was those clouds that kind of got us interested in the soaring club afterwards それはいつも空に焦がれて空を見上げていたからよ。And especially for Asa, given by what we've seen in the second part of the common route. 私は違った。姉さんがいなければきっとここにはいなかった人間。イスカさんは多分姉さんと同じ。いつも空を見上げてた。So, Yori nods quietly. So, she could meet with such a miraculous coincidence, all because a single mindly pressed on and aimed for the clouds. So, would you call that a coincidence? So Manny laughs sadly. So 
忘れるって何をイスタのことうんそれとグライダーのことも Samani speaks apologetically そんな Samani, so why? So that day when we flew, it wasn't for nothing. Iska no nozomi wa watashi no naka kara kiyeru koto. Sore ni watashi wa yappari minna to onaji yume wa mirare sou ni nai. Amane senpai. Watashi wa Iska ga doko o mezashite iru no ka. Doushite soko e ikitai no ka shiri ta katta. Okay. Kono sekai ga 彼女にはどんな風に見えているのかそれでも嘘だったそのことに変わりはないだろう。Okay, so let's see what Mani said previously. この世界が彼女にはどんな風に見えているのかそれが知りたかったんだ。Okay. だからもう飛ぶ理由がない。So, Amani, it might have been just like that, what Amani says. So, for Amani, the morning glory was not something she was aiming for herself. It was just a promise with Iska. Amani wanted to know as much as more about her, and that's why she was trying so hard. But the letter destroyed that whole premise Amani lost her reason to try. And the words she said to us when we looked to her for help and advice still rings in our ears. And I can't share the same dream as all of you anymore. So, wanting Amani to fly our hope. Wait, not Amani's. Katori sighs. どういうことだいだってあの手紙にはそう書いてあったじゃないか。So letter didn't seem to say that she lied to Amane because she was worried about her.So Iska would have certainly known how much that letter would hurt Amane.But it had to be written.She had so many feelings of guilt about telling a lie. それだけじゃない。イスカはあの私たちの始まりになったモーニンググローリーの写真をガレージから持ち去った壊れたグライダーと空っぽの写真立ては私に夢を捨てろっていうメッセージだったんだ So if she wanted me to hang on to my dreams wouldn't she have left the picture? b o k a t o y says それがイスカの本心だったって私思えないの So everyone looks at Katori Well I don't know what Katori is trying to say But I want her to say something Some words that we can't believe in That tell us that when we have The held dear Was not a mistake Something along those lines あ、私ねイスカの気持ちが少しわかるのイスカって体が弱かったのよね自分がいつ死ぬかもしれないって思ってて学校もよく休んでたんでしょだからいつか自分はここからいなくなるかもしれないそんな風に思ってたんでしょああそうだあ私も So Katori grabs at the hem of her skirt tightly, trying to endure embarrassment. And from that, we all knew that she was trying to open up to us about her difficult past. どんどん孤立していって毎日毎日全然楽しくなくて生きてるのも嫌になるくらい辛くって一度
も本当に学校を辞めようとした葵くんやアゲハやアマネちゃんたちと出会ってなかったらきっとそうなってた似てるからわかるのイシカの気持ち So while Katori was speaking so passionately, Agiha moves closer and rested a hand on Katori's shoulder. So, as if that hand had given her some courage, Katori begins speaking again. Ishika was. I was going to be able to do something. I was going to be able to do something. I was going to be able to do something. So, I wonder why. Because. たくさん残ってるじゃないイスカがいた痕跡が So if you remember the notebook was in Katori's room and it was stuck somewhere in the bookshelf or behind the bookshelf if I remember So the strange rules of the flying fish manor the duck name hat the time capsule and the flight log in Katori's room and the glider And if we looked for more there might be more traces of イスカ s history 私ずっとイスカが変な子だからいっぱい残ってるんだと思ってたけど違うかもしれないって思うようになった私の部屋にあったあのノートイスカのフライトログあれは忘れていったんじゃない誰かに読んでほしくてそこにしまってあったのイスカはきっと知ってて欲しかったんだと思うミサギイスカって女の子がそこに生きてたんだってこと空を見上げてあの綺麗な雲を目指してたんだってことだからあの写真も一緒に挟んでおかなきゃいけなかった自分たちが目指した場所を見てもらうために So without that picture it would have been a diary that Some strange girl had forgotten. So, the picture with its magnificent and beautiful scene that will captivate your heart with just one glance breathes life into the diary. Okay, so it makes sense to put it with the diary. And there's no mistake that was a necessary, or a necessary detail to Iska. And without that, Katori would not have aimed for the sky. So, Iska herself might have found such a picture in a soaring club flight log in that garage and it made her aim for the sky. So, I'm going to show you the same thing. 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 自分が得た感動を伝えようとするみたいにイスカは寂しかったんだと思う親友と別れを告げ誰からも忘れられてしまうのがせめて誰でもいいから知っててほしかっただから飛び噂をの部屋にノートを残したのあそこなら次に入ってくるのは同年代の女の子だもの、so、at least There's the next person to come in would be a girl of the same generation. So, Katori sounds embarrassed. She held the hand her sister had put on her shoulder, and now she Sounds different, like she's confirming that she has friends who could say the same thing. アマネちゃんにモーニンググローリーを見せたかった気持ちは嘘じゃないはずよあの綺麗な雲を一緒に眺めて同じ感動を共有したかった
だってそれはきっと一生忘れられない記憶になる And before I knew, tears were welling up in Katori's eyes. It was as if Iska's thoughts had been transferred to Katori. And even with Katori's tear filled eyes staring at her, Amani didn't flinch. So I wonder how Amani feels. So, Amani, how is it? So, do you think that the time you spent with Iska was a lie? Um. So, Amani shook her head silently. But. So, what's wrong? So, hanging her head down, she made a face like she didn't know what to do and bit her lip hard. Amani is trembling. And like she was frightened. She wants to start walking. But is too afraid to start. And that's how she looked. Well, there's no way Iska is a liar. <laughs> so Mane raises her head and looks at me. Well, the only one who can prove that is you, Amane. <laughs> me? I nod. And then I move next to her, or the glider. So these are, these are the wings that you designed for Iska to aim for the clouds together. So you should fly Amane with this glider and pass through the passage of clouds. <laughs> so let's fly Mane to prove that Iska is not a liar. So we're going to take you to the place that you promised. So Mane looks at everyone dumbfounded. And then she nods timidly. So an orange ray of light pierced through the sky from the west. And for some reason, all the clouds just disappeared and they can see this. So, it was raining when Aoi first came to the airfield. So, just as the weather report said, the rain stopped by evening and the clouds cleared up. And the settling sun was poking through the gaps in the clouds that had formed. So, bathed in the light, the wet glider. Glisten red like it was on fire. It was as if it had come back to life. 
So Katori looked at the sky in the opposite direction of everyone else and opened her eyes wide. So what's happening? Hmm. So everyone looks at where Katori is pointing. So what was there was... They see some purple shades and then blue. So the eastern sky was a bluish purple. So does that mean that? Yep. So we all gazed dumbfounded at the sight. It was the sight we had been waiting to see for a year. The sky we had yearned and prayed for. But to come at such a timing, hmm. So now that Aman has hope, at the right time the sky becomes purplish blue. I look at Amane standing next to me. Samani so stares at the sunset sky as if she were seeing something that she did not believe in. So there's no mistaking it, so is there. Yep, so it's a sign. It was a miraculous coincidence, but for all us who had been anxiously looking at the sky day after day, it was only inevitable. So it's coming. Tomorrow morning, the morning glory. And that was Iska and Amane's promised day. Okay. So, being excited, Katori and everyone are probably eating very quickly and happily and crazy. Ah, <laughs> So you should, you should eat up too, Agiha, so then we can take turns in the bath. Hi. Okay. ドキドキするね、ユロちゃん。そうね。まさか本当に来るなんてね。イスカさんじゃないけど、正直あまり期待してなかったわ。私、きっと先輩たちが頑張ってたからだよ。その子褒美なんじゃないかな。So we were eating in a hurry after getting back from the runway. And so had Omen appeared. The morning glory, it's coming tomorrow morning. And to get ready for it, everyone decided to go to bed early and get up before dawn. So maybe another three person in the bath again, like what happened in the past. So Agiha pushes Katori's wheelchair hard. Well, come on, don't push me too hard. So 
So after winking at me, Agaha led Katori and the others out of the, the dining hall. So after everyone left, it got quiet very quickly. So like she had forgotten about her usual lively way of eating food, she was go eating very daintily. So for some reason today, Amai is eating like a proper lady. Hmm, so wasn't it very good? So does it taste really bad that you don't want to eat it quickly like you usually do? So Amane looks troubled and sets down her chopsticks. Wait, Amane, your hand. So Amane had a scratch on the palm of her hand. So she probably got it when she grabbed the rock and used it to hit the wing. So the wings that Amani had hit were not hurt. So although there are some scratches on the paint of the front, there were not any cracks. So at least it's still in good condition. So according to Agiha, if Amani's weak hits could break it, then there's no way it would be able to fly, so it wouldn't have enough strength. And in addition to the gliders, FRP is also the material used to make the holes of fishing boats. Well, I'm sure the, the strains of fibers, they're different. So for a fishing boat, it's probably much stronger than for a glider or like a fuselage. So if it's made properly, it's not something that would break so easily. So I sat next to Amane and held her scratched up hands. So don't be reckless, okay? So your hands have a lot of potential. They're really important hands. So nodding, she rests her head again on my chest. So why is that? Well, Mani? So I held Mani's in my arms as gently as I can. So Katori and Agiha, who had been peeking into the dining hall, stiffened straight up. And it makes Aoi embarrassed. So does Amane. So the two of them ran away all flustered. So we could hear their excited voices from all the way down the hall. Hmm, they're definitely going to talk about it in the bath, those two. So that said, we actually were holding each other. Okay, so it's now 4 a.m. And this is a good place to stop, given that this episode is about an hour long. So, in the next episode, we're going to see how well Amani and Aoi 
perform on this critical flight to the morning glory, and whether or not Amani is going to fulfill the dream that Iska set out many years ago. So, I kind of like this episode given that at first Amani was depressed about what Iska wrote in the letter that Tobiaki Sensei was hiding from Amani. But it turns out, well, Iska's still around, as evidenced by Tatsuya slash Anchan. And the photo that she took proves it. So, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see Iska during the next episode, but it'll be a huge awakening and a huge blessing for Amane. And it's kind of interesting that the weather kind of shows the mood. So at first, Amane was all upset, and it was raining, and then when she's all happy, like, well, we're still going to finish the dream that Iska set out. The rain disappears, or it stops, and they can see the colors in the sky. So anyways, with that in mind, I'll see you later.